Hey everybody, welcome to The Boat Show. Today we're at Chesapeake Whaler Town. We're checking out a beautiful boat from Boston Whaler. And today we have Will Roger, Director of Large Boat Sales of Boston Whalers. Hey guys, welcome aboard. Uh, right now we are on the brand new 36 Outrage. Uh, this ba boat made its debut at the Miami Boat Show last year. And it is one of the premier cutting edge technology boats from Boston Whaler. So, Will, let's talk about the DNA of Boston Whaler. Hull design. Yep. Let's start right there. Well, you know, uh, in 1958, Dick Fisher came up with a double-hulled foam-filled boat. Uh, we carry that legacy through many years, and I get this question all the time. Are the large boats double-hulled foam-filled? And yes, they are. Uh, not only are they uh, double hull foam filled, uh, built in stringer systems, uh, complete examples of you know what the latest technology is in marine build. So it's a high tech classic boat, really, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And here we are on the 36 Outrage, uh, which is the very first 36 foot center console, which is fully integrated. What do I mean by that? Uh, when we go up to the MFD and look at that, that's the main display panel, uh, you will see everything from cartography to the depth sounder to the radar. These are things we're used to. Uh, but on this boat, you will also see a boat page that displays all of the telemetry from the boat, including the gyro, refrigeration. And on this boat, we have the Fathom lithium ion battery system. Uh, all of this telemetry and information all through one display, completely coordinated on this boat. That's a first. So Will, when we talk about Boston Whaler, it's synonymous with Mercury, correct? We are all owned by the Brunswick Corporation and uh, it is just one big family. On this particular boat, it is the highest example of vertical integration that we have uh, in the market right now. Uh, the engines are Mercury Marine. Uh, the uh, main screens are Simrad. Uh, and that's uh, a Brunswick company now. A lot of people don't know that. Um, the Fathom system is also a Brunswick company. So on this particular boat, there's a high degree of vertical integration as far as the assembly of the boat. Let's talk horizontal because the you know, the Mercury 600 Verado V12s, giddy up, right? It's really changed uh, the dynamic of these larger boats. Uh, one of the things that, uh, you know, you'll take into account right away is that they're V12s. Uh, people think, oh, you know, you're going to burn more fuel and this. Uh, it's quite the opposite. Um, they're very fuel efficient. Um, they're able to propel this boat to over one uh, mile to the gallon, which is really unheard of for large boats. Um, and then the top end uh, performance of them is just something fantastic. But the really cutting edge thing that I feel is important about these engines are the service intervals, right? We all have to service our boats. Um, you have uh, 200 hour service intervals between oil changes and a thousand hours before you get to a major. It really doesn't get any better. Hey, and just lift the lid to do all the minor service, correct? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, and it's funny because for many years, you know, we had to remove the cowl and now we're able to lift the lid. And now we can lift the lid and check the oil. But once you know it, it self oil checks and you get a display on the monitor. Oh, well. <laughs> So here we are in the back end. This is hardcore fishing all day long. We're in this comfortable mezzanine seat. A lot going on here. Two access points, correct? Uh, yeah, so we, you know, the boat uh, is going to have these two beautiful seats. It's complemented by a nice stern seat. But as we move forward and look at the boat, uh, you're really going to see something that appeals to the entire family, right? So we can go to the canyons and heavy duty fish, but on Sunday, we can take the family to the local bar or a local area and just have a phenomenal day out on the water for the whole family. So when we look at this boat right here, the beautiful teak, the finishes, there, it is really high end. It's a very rich boat in the development of it. Um, thousands of hours of engineering research went into what we finally have here on display at the, uh, at the boat show today. And it really is something that we feel caters not only to the heavy duty fishermen, uh, you can see the, the hardware and how heavy duty it is, uh, but it also appeals to a, a, a family and, and, and we're totally committed to creating family memories for many years to come. So we can fish this hardcore with the second station, but we can also spend the night out on the hook, correct? 
Oh, absolutely, and that's one of the things that our engineering design group uh, has done very well. Uh, when you go down into the cabin uh, by a pull of a latch, uh, you have a uh, what I would consider easily a queen size berth uh, materialized, uh, and that gives us the ability on, on a pinch to go out and uh, let's just say we go and the inn is full. All right, we'll we'll spend this night on the boat and uh, have a good time at it. And it's well detailed, beautifully finished under there, by the way. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, the uh, wood accents, the rod storage. Storage in general, which is a, a major theme throughout this particular boat, uh, is really emphasized in the cabin. So when we move up to the bow, if I want to get some sun, or if I want to fish it, I got options, correct? You know, this is one of the very first boats that has complete bow access. And what I mean by that is uh, you're able to remove a, a piece of the fiberglass uh, sitting area and it's going to give you complete access to that forward uh, anchor area at waist level. Uh, well, we think about that when we're anchoring, but uh, for some of us, we really think about that when we're chasing down a sailfish or, uh, or a really fast wahoo or something like that, and we're in the bow of the boat reeling in. Uh, so these are all concepts that you know we've brought to this boat, and uh, you know, along with the center line access to the upper station, which is uh, you know going to keep you in the center line of the boat in a more safe environment, and uh, you know, all these little details are just really what's make makes this boat stand out. So you're constantly kind of refreshing your models, correct? Oh, absolutely. And I think that this is a phenomenal example of that. What did I say? Totally integrated boat, uh, testing new power. Uh, we have a completely new hull on this. It's, it's a, you know, from the paper, from the bottom up, it is all new. Um, we're trying some new high accent uh, type of materials, such as our bolster seats here, uh, and even the teak, solid teak seat backs. Um, so every day it's, it's a, you know, a new challenge for Boston Whaler, and every day our design and engineering departments just rise to that challenge. Well, Will, I want to thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure. But for everybody out there, what you need to do is you actually need to step on board. You need to touch the finishes and just see what this vessel is all about. I appreciate it, Will. Uh, it's very good. And again, if you need any information, go to our website, uh, whaler.com, and you'll be able to uh, dial in on the boat and see some of the performance and, and all the items that uh, you might be interested in. Uh, but uh, thank you again for your time today. Absolutely. Boston Whaler and Will Rogers.